Hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. How are you doing? Honestly, I'm hoping you're having a great day. You know why? Because I am. So you should too. Just pass it on, you know? I don't know. Tell someone to have a nice day as well. I don't know. This is episode 19, Canadian Family Farms. Hi everyone, Dirty Randy here. Such a beautiful morning in, uh, in March. Start of spring, still a little chilly. A little bit of snow falling from the sky, but uh, it's a gorgeous day out. It really is. Sun's already up, and uh, well, we can just pretty much get right to it. Uh, Gator is down on the farmyard, so I think we'll probably just... Well, I don't even know if we need to bring the truck down. It's just kind of force a habit. I don't know if we're going to need to run into town, what the deal is, or what. So, uh, we're, we're going to just take her down, okay? We'll get going. And we're going to hop in uh, the case over here and just get rolling on our stone picker right away as well. Uh, finish that up. You know, that should be pretty good. And, uh, well, I do want to poke my head into this shed as well. Let's see what the deal is. Oh, oh, some eggs. Some eggs are coming. I will take that, you know. We don't have a lot of chickens, but they will steadily be more as time goes on. So, you know, they're, they're putting in some work. I'll take it. I'll take it. Like I said, just wanted to pop my head into the shed and just check them out this morning. They still got feed. They're producing eggs. Everything is uh, running smooth there. Right. Well... We now have our uh, our whole field we can get done, so that's awesome. Getting this guy unfolded. Let's get him turned on. Lower him. And uh, we can get right to it. Wonderful. So, like we uh, we know from yesterday, this is, is a pretty quick job. Uh, we got our front weight on here, so that might want to push our front nose around a little bit more. As you can see, this is... We're bouncing. Um, we got no weight in the back just yet. We almost need the weighted wheels on uh, one tractor or some dualies or something. I don't know. Um, but we're, we're getting a whole lot of bounce. Thank goodness for this seat. You know what I mean? A little shock absorber. So oh, that's what I'm saying. That nose just oversteers a bit. We missed a couple rocks there, but all good. We can head up here where we had that one strip of problems the other day, and we can just keep getting to it. You know, this shouldn't take us shouldn't take us long at all. That went pretty smooth, I think. Got all that done, and uh, we would have had we well we filled up yesterday, so we knew we had to uh, unload at some point, and we got more than half done, so that's pretty good. Uh, got all of our stones put away there, nice in one spot, so that's awesome. And now we can kind of carry on with our day. Uh, we do not need to spread lime down, but I would like to uh, roll that field just so it's in great shape. Um, I, I think it needs rolling. I don't know. I, I will just double check. Um, otherwise, we can uh, pretty much get ready for planting some more corn in there. So that's exciting. Looks like we actually do not need to roll that field. Um, but I think we might have to after we uh, get some crop on it. So we're going to squeak over here and just get this guy out of here at least. And I'm not sure the best spot for him to hang out. But I think this is not it. Because we will need to get that 
planter out of there at some point as well. So, um, let's see if we can just squeeze through the bushes here. Oh, that front way pulls you, I tell you. Okay, you know what? Right there, that'll be more than fine for now. Uh, we will have to move that mulcher. And, uh, of course, take this out, move this. So maybe we'll hop in the John Deere and just shuffle a couple things around. Mulcher put back, and we're just pushing this guy back a little bit, too, to give ourselves some more space. That should be fine. And uh, as far as the gator goes, <clears throat> not sure. He can probably just hang out where our truck usually goes, right in here. That should be fine for now. And... Well, what's next on the agenda, you know? Um, I suppose we could get that planner up and set up and ready, make sure it's all good to go for tomorrow as well. Oh, it's the big boy. Right, well, you know, I'm not always the best with these articulating ones, but I think we're going to try it out. I know sometimes it can be a bit of a pain, but we're going to try our best with it, okay? Well, let's back that up. That looks pretty good. Get some hoses going. And we can pull this guy out of here. Oh, well, we can try to at least. Oh my god. Articulation already coming in scary. Oh no. Oh god. We got this big boy pulled out. But uh, we do want to just top it up. Make sure we got lots of seed in there as well as uh, fertilizer so seed we got to go all the way back for but if we can get ourselves lined up here kind of I think we'll do all right we just got to make sure there we go that's not too bad we can definitely get her from there you know slow and steady wins the race we're lined up that's what matters, you know. Up the hill, beside the barn, to the silo, fill up with seed. Like a glove, my friend. These are topped up, as you can seed. Oh, oh. Randy. All right, and uh, liquid fertilizers next. So let's swing wide on this. Swing, swing wide on this, Randy. There we go. The tank looking pretty close now. All topped up, both seed and ferdy. We're looking good. We just gotta weave our way through the yard, which you know what we're actually doing pretty good with. And it looks like uh, you know the attachment on the cedar, you know, to the trailer right here. You know, that seems to uh, turn real nice with our articulation. So no complaints about that. You love to see it. Um, you know, last time we got started on the far side, ain't nothing wrong with that. I think maybe this time we'll just we'll keep her over here. Ooh, yeah. Get her unfolded. I'm not too concerned with uh, being squared up. We'll finish with the headland. Um, so I think maybe probably something like that is honestly decent. You know, I'll take it if we got... Whoa, 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 Nelly. She's bucking Bronco. Yeah, bud. And actually pretty good. So let's just turn off our lights, kill the engine, and we know we're all set up to go tomorrow. So that is awesome. We might even have some liquid fertilizer over in our trailer, our support trailer over there. So that could come in handy if uh, we do need to just top up on that tomorrow. I think the fertilizer usually runs low before the seed does. So that is awesome. Um, all right. What's next on our agenda? You know, stones picked, fields plowed, looking good. Don't need lime. Don't need to roll it. Big Peter's sitting here looking like he needs something to do. And... Uh, you know, we might just have a job or two for him. I think we got to go deal with some fish, some fishes. So uh, let's go. Uh, let's go see about that, shall we? Oh, she fires right up, buds. All right, I think our best plan of action might be to try and turn around in here. It's uh, it's a tight one, you know. All right. Oh my God. 
Oh, oh, okay. Not into the field. Okay, well, we're eight point turning it, but we're getting it done. Oh, low. There we go. There we go. Looking good. Okay, so. There we go. Uh, we could grab the other trailer. I don't know what goods we have in there, but of course our greenhouse is growing, so that is awesome. Um, we do have some products starting to go in there, you know. I, I don't know if it's worth it to uh, bring this guy over there. We could always just make a trip over in uh, in our truck, our smaller truck, because you can, you can see our big trailers all the way from over here. And our grain trailer, actually, with uh, with no leaves blocking our view. But, uh, yeah, I don't think we need to head over there quite right now. Although we could swap trailers. Um, you know, we know we can't quite fit all of our fishies on here. So, and I have word we've got a lot, a lot of them again. So, I think we might just switch trailers. Alright, if traffic could not be the way it is can you just can you go can you go because I gotta I gotta readjust here guy I gotta swing wide and I'm not gonna lie you're right in the way okay well guess we're gonna be taking out telephone poles power through Peter yeah you really got to be watching that corner better. Uh, honestly. Like, what are my tax dollars going towards? This is ridiculous. So. Alright, well. I think we might hook up to one of our new trailers. I don't know which one we should grab. Let's, uh, let's have a peek. And should we use Peter for it still, you know? Let's, uh, let's get these unhooked there. And then we can lower this off. Uh, wonderful. Alright, we got a curtain cider. And uh, we got a dry box. Curtain cider, it's kind of nice. You can then load it up from either way. This guy's also nice because we got a tail gate that can come down. Um. I mean, I don't think we need the tailgate over there because we got that little uh, JCB telefork handler forklift. So I think we might try out the curtain cider um, and see how that goes, you know? Just give her a little shot. Both these trailers went off for uh, repair not too long ago. So hopefully they're, uh, they're good to go, you know? We'll see. We got, we got our hoses hooked up. So we should be doing all right. Of course, we could be using our Mack truck here too, but I don't know. We made our way over with Peter, and uh, that's the way she goes, you know. Um, oh gosh! Oh gosh! Panic! I'm sorry. We're gonna loop back in here really quick. Just really quick. I'm so sorry. I just want to go check out in the warehouse. Okay, okay, okay. That's actually a, a fair bit of uh, it's a fair bit of product. Jeez, you get those greenhouses going, and we're looking good. I mean, I guess you know, Dad's been bringing them over and transporting, doing a lot of that stuff. I think he prefers just kind of hanging out in the truck and whatnot. So I mean, uh, no complaints there. Looks like we got some. Uh, Oh, these are wonderful. I guess that, that he probably got those to go with the uh, the new trailers there. Those are sweet and definitely make life easier moving stuff around. So we do actually have some goods in there that we could uh, we could load up and sell anyways. Partially tempted to get her done. Um, but I think, you know, priority is the fish right now at the moment. Uh, it is it is full, whereas our warehouse storage is not. So I think we should go deal with those. Um, as far as feed and stuff like that goes, it's a pretty regular thing. Uh, so leaving one of our big tractors over there all the time is maybe not totally ideal. 
So we might have to uh, look into that as well as, you know, we, we got to use that same trailer, I think, to top up our chickens. So, you know, until we can expand and, like, have, like, almost dedicated tractor trailers for some of that stuff, we might have to do just some hot swapping. I've arrived. Oh, our. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, you guys go. This van wants to go, but I don't care. We're doing. No, van, do not go. Red car, do not go. I forgot. I mean, we were just talking about this being over here. But I thought we had a little bit more space. We're not making this. We're going to hit the fence. Oh my god. I'm calling power through Peter for nothing. That's twice today. Uh, I suppose we're blocking traffic anyways. So we could have just done this in the first place. But again, I forgot the tractor was there. I thought we could just pull through. Um, we don't quite need to get loaded up. Well, you know, I don't know actually. We'll see. Well, we'll try our best. I think we'll see if we can't open this guy up. Got Peter in position. Uh, we got these two last little pallets here. Oh, no. There we go. Let's grab these. Oh, they're misbehaving. That top one. I can f sense it. It's, it's struggling. All right, you just got to get over here, and then you'll disappear. You'll be fine. There you go. Wonderful. Uh, probably could toss in one more just while we're here doing it. And then we'll move over. We can get everything loaded up and uh, toss in the rest of that corn. Possibly we can send that tractor and trailer home. That would be kind of nice as well. And I am loving this Teletruck. I'm not going to lie. She makes me feel things with this extension. I like it. Look at that bounce. You just, you don't see that nowadays. Alright. That'll do for now. We'll, uh, get this guy going, loading up. Let the fishmonger do his thing. He's a beast in this guy. And, uh, we're gonna go load up that corn there. Alright. Back her on up. There's really not that much left in here. Not too much. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Not too much at all. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty confident this guy can make his way back home today. But it's going to be a pretty constant work. You know, we might even have to get uh, another silo out here at some point um, just to deal with that. Can we make this corner? Oh, you know we can. Nobody coming. We're looking good. We're just going to pull this guy up and over here. And, uh, well, maybe we'll just shoot our brother a text or something and he can come pick this guy up. Well, took a little bit of work, but we got her all done. And the tractor's gone as well. I didn't even notice. So he must have came and picked that up. Uh, hopefully it's not blocking our way anywhere. And he had no issues, but he should be fine. He's a big boy make our way to uh, the animal market here and we should be good and we might whoa sorry that engine brake is real loud um, but anyways yeah we uh, we might have time to go make uh, make some more sales from some of our produce there you know um, that wouldn't hurt so let's see what we can do here huh. oh uh, coming downhill you gotta break early Let's see what we can do. I know they're not accepted just behind us, but they should be at this wee little market. Oh, do we really? I thought we were a lot closer than we actually are. That is my bad. So, we will uh, reposition. I oh, trying to hit this side of the building. Or these vehicles, which proving to not be as easy as I thought. Alright, we're good. 
We just gotta squeeze by this little part of the building and we can out for a straight now before we hit the vehicle. We're trying our best here. Alright, come on. Slowly by slowly a bit. Alright, we're good. Jackknife it. Alright. That should be pretty good to get unloaded. We probably should open up the other side of the curtain, to be honest with you. That would be the smart thing to do. Alright, you take these ones. And I'll try and push the last bit over. $9,307. So that's awesome. They're making some money, that is for sure. So... We're going to head over here, and like I said, I think we got some time today to go grab some produce. We're all set up and ready for tomorrow, so that's not an issue there. Uh, Fertilizer is going to be going in, seed's going to be going in, and uh, yeah, no, that should be a good day tomorrow with corn. So I think we're all ready to go, you know, or we're just kind of waiting on our wheat to grow a little bit more, probably a couple more months. That'll be good to go, and then of course we got all the work that comes with that. So, uh, being smart, I should have pulled in the other direction, but that's not my strong suit. That's not what I'm known for. That's not what you're here for. Let's be real. So let's try our best. If we do it on this one, I'll be a happy clam. That's pretty. That's pretty all right. We just need to. Bonk the end. Bonk. There we go. We got the doors on the truck opened. Let's see if we can get this open. I swear it was not just like that. Well, this is not going to be an easy job, but we're in uh, our favorite little pace here. Wait. Hold on. I wonder if we can work smarter here, not harder. See any fancy technology to help me out. So we might have to do it. The old-fashioned way. Um, oh God! If this, do we really have to get it all out like this? This is going to be a nightmare. I mean, working in a warehouse. Gosh, I know the feeling, but still, like, come on, one at a time. This is literally my nightmare, and I mean, this is the biggest thing in the world here. Jesus. Yeah. All right. Well, this is going to be a nightmare of a time. If, uh, if you know of a better way to do this, holler at your boy Randy. Because um, this is a little insane. You know? I probably... Can I unfold that dock? That would be nice. Can, buds. Okay, wonderful. Well, you know what? As great as this is, we're going to leave him right there for a hot minute. And we're going to hop on this boy, give him a shot. Just, whoa, okay. Yeah, okay, all right. I just want to see how she goes. See how she goes on the seashore. Um, we can use this one to get off all of our bottom pallets there. And definitely stack stuff up in the truck kind of nicely. Um, wow. Yeah, that's all you need, bud. So, we can just go like that. And so, there we go. Uh, we can kind of just get stuff out and arranged with this. Um, I mean, this is really... This one and that small one straight in front of us, that's kind of what these are meant for, if you will. And then we can kind of just drop stuff off, get it all lined up, and then we can do it with that. So, you know, that in mind, it's a process, but uh, ain't nothing wrong with it, you know. Um, I'm not usually the warehouse guy as much as I am the uh, out in the farms kind of guy. But, you know, that's, uh, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, right? It's not quite the off season. We're just coming out of it. Oh, gosh, but it is a little bit slow at the moment. Oh gosh, uh, oh gosh, there we go. So uh, we gotta do what you gotta do to make some money. I know this is uh, it's tedious. What is this warehouse logistics simulator? But hey, I'm here for it. I, I love moving stuff from A to B, driving around, figuring stuff out. So, uh, you know, let's get her done.
complete the trifecta, let's use this guy as well. We'll get them all done, you know? See how this guy fares, you know? Good old classic. Um, I don't know if we got long enough forks to take two with this one. Let's, well, it looks like they are. Let's, let's see. Let's just, uh, tilt her back all the way. Oh no. Well, we lost one. I don't know why, but we did. That's all right. Away she goes. Nice, good old classic forklift beeping. Was the other one doing that? I don't know. Either way, here we go. We'll go toss these guys in here. Great, good, grand. Do we go for throwing that one on top and making three high? We could. I don't think we have anything three high in there, but not the end of the world. We can always take it off if we need. Bring you up. This guy's just a little bit too thick to fit in some of these aisles. You know what I mean? Oh, we gotta. Oh, oh. Yeah. Go like that. Level them out a little bit. Wonderful. Get the forks on. Slight tilt back. And we are good to go. There you go. Well, hey, we're putting in work. And I feel like it's not going to be that much money for all this stuff, but I'm not too worried about that, you know? It's it's all just extra bits of money when we have extra bits of time, you know? Making good use of stuff like this. Oh, oh, okay. Let's, oh. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Mass is hitting the roof. That's my bad. We don't have that much clearance. All good. There we go. Hey, look at that. The lights are just coming on. Yeah, we didn't do too bad for time in there. I think we got to get all our straps put on quick. Slide under here. Nice. Let's uh, close up that back and we can head off. Well, the weather turned quickly. Not even necessarily the weather, just, I mean, the time of day. Went from real light to uh, getting to be a little bit dark out. Not a worry though, we just got a boogie across town and uh, we can pretty much call her a day there. Um, heading to the Red Bowling Alley for uh, most of this stuff, honestly. I don't know if they'll be able to take all of it, but hopefully they, they got a good price for stuff right now. So we're going to try our best, see what we can get for this stuff. This brakes checked me, what's going on? It's ridiculous. I mean, I know I was rolling in hot, but who slows down for no reason? That's... that's absurd. He's playing chicken with the wrong truck. We've made it! I'm gonna open up that curtain side there, preemptively, and, uh, make our way on back. Yeah. Oh, come on. We had that. Squeeze on by. Over the bowling area. The ghetto bowling area. The staff bowling area. Why are you... You stay open for me, sir, please. Alright. Hey, things are getting unloaded. You know. I'll take it. It's a little bit dark, but it's happening. Slowly but surely. Parking in here is insane. Who designed this place? Oh, pull through Peter. Does it again. Wonderful. Literally just going to pull up right here. And uh, we're going to go inside, grab some grub, because uh, they got some fresh produce from yours truly. $4,000. That's actually not too bad. You know, at first I was like, oh man, it could be more. But then I was like, you know. All we had to do was put some water in the greenhouse and we're good. So that's that, you know, we're going to go get some burgers, some fries, go bowl and have a good time at the Red Bowl and Alley here. And, uh, you know, that's going to be it for today. Tomorrow, busy day. We're going to let off some steam tonight. Should be a good time. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. All right. Bye bye.